Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to talk about deriving curves from object intersections. Okay, let's start. In the curve from object toolbar, we can see that there are a bunch of tools that can help us to generate curves from various methods and these tools are very useful, although they are not often um, being discussed. Okay, today I want to talk about this um, object intersection, which is a tool that can be used to generate curves from the intersections of objects such as surfaces. So basically, um, what I want to do is to get a curve that is intersecting these two surfaces. Okay. And to do that, I can simply click on the icon or type intersect at the command prompt and then select the object to intersect, which is this and this, and then press enter. And you can see that a curve has been generated over here. You might be wondering what is the purpose of having this type of curves be generated? Well, there can be many scenarios where we will need the generation of curves from the intersections of surfaces. One of which that I can think of is for the control transition of two edges. Okay, let me give you an example. In this situation, I want this object to blend in a gradual way to this main surface okay and I want the blend to be in such a way that the radius here is smaller while the radius here is a bigger okay and for that we can use the curve that was derived from the object intersection tool to create the nice transition we can do so by using the circle around curve okay and i want to turn on the relevant object snap in this case uh, let's turn on the mid and the quad so that we can get the the quad or the mid okay section and for this region over here i want to have a bigger blend transition okay so maybe i want something like that okay and then I want to have a smaller transition over here and then let's find the other location and create a smaller circle okay something like that let's turn on the ghost mode so you can see what's happening you can see that we got a circle here and we got another circle here okay and then from here i can generate a cutting object using the sweep one rail okay so i'm going to turn on the sweep one rail select rail so the rail is the curve derived from the object intersection uh, the sweep shape will be the two circles that we have created let's do a close sweep And we got like a torus like object that we can use to cut the two objects. Okay. And I'm going to do it now by using the split command. So click split, select object to split is this and this. Enter. Cutting object will be the sweep to surface. Enter. And you can see that if we were to delete away this, that the surfaces has been cut into separate regions. Let's delete this and delete this and this as well. Okay, you can see that we have created nicely trim 
regions on the two surface which we can use to do our transition blends okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do an inverse height and do a, do a blend to use the blend surface let's turn on the auto chain yes okay this is my first segment second segment okay enter and then uh, i think i want to set both sides to curvature of course you can uh create other effects as well for example if you want something that is more straight you can use things like position if you uh, want to only control a certain region to to have a to have a blend you can uh, set different continuity to different edges okay but in this case here i want to set both the one and two to curvature okay and of course you can control the blend further by adjusting the control points okay so this is something that uh, i will want okay click okay and from here we can create a nice transition using the curve that was derived from the object intersection okay and then with that i come to the end of this uh, demo hope it has been useful to you see you around bye